stated in the Malaysia Today article is a pure myth and platform taken to damage my character and reputation by envious people with twisted and dirty minds. Secondly, it is true that there were loans taken out by my company with Kuwait Finance House amounting close to 600 million for various property investment projects where Kuwait Finance House was also a joint venture Musharaka partner and for my carpet business. Over the period of time, the loans have been gradually reduced through the sale of properties and other businesses, leaving a balance of approximately 200 million currently. Kuwait Finance House has evolved dramatically over the last five years, with lesser emphasis on the property market. And over the last two years, we have focused on property business in the region with other Islamic bankers as partners and financiers. What is not true is that the loans taken by my company have been delinquent over the last five years or is currently delinquent. All our loans are current and in order. Further, neither me nor my companies have been involved in any uh, form of bribery or corruption as alleged by Malaysia Today article. The allegation wrote in the Malaysia Today article is very damaging as it affects the business relationship between me my companies, our bankers, and again an attempt by people envious of me, of all my business to damage my character.